What's up everyone? This right here is probably the most dangerous thing I've ever made. This is a over 22,000 RPM paper airplane launcher. I'm Jay, this is JVV Creative. Let's create. First, let's start with the basics on how this thing works. So this right here is a 3000 kV brushless motor. This is the kind of motor that you would find in an RC car. It's connected through this control system right here to this LiPo battery. 3000 kV basically just means for every volt coming out of the battery, we get 3000 RPM coming out of this motor. The battery is 2S, so that means it's a 7.4 volt battery. That means that we get about 22,000 RPM coming out of this thing when it's on full blast. In reality, my tachometer was reading 22,700 and something. Crazy, considered that this whole thing is basically 3D printed. So the motor is attached to this drive wheel, which has this O-ring on it. This other wheel right here is connected to this slider, which slides on these two metal bars. And it's got this spring, which spring loads it against the drive wheel. So when you slide a paper airplane between the two wheels, which are spinning at 22,700 RPM or something like that, it grabs the airplane and boom, it's gone. The last part of this design is a positioning system. It uses this worm gear through this gear right here. It's connected to this gear, which is then connected to this bigger gear. When you turn the crank, you can adjust the angle that the paper airplane launcher fires at. The reason I used a worm gear here is because once it's set, it doesn't move. So how fast does this thing fire? And to answer that question, we need this sophisticated piece of technology. You shoot an airplane across it, and then you count the frames that it goes through. Using some basic math to do some conversions, you can then figure out what the speed is. First, let's test this plane, which is the airplane design that set the record for the furthest ever paper airplane throw. So it traveled the 65 centimeter distance in 35 frames. That means that it was going about 67 kilometers an hour or about 41 miles an hour. Not bad. Next, let's test the classic dart plane. Classic. So this plane flew the distance in 27 frames. That's 0 0.027 seconds. That means that it was traveling at 97 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. And that explains that tip right there. Originally, I had this vision, super long distance paper airplane shots. I wanted to set some sort of record. In hindsight, that was a terrible idea. I took this thing outside and the results were pretty underwhelming. I think I need to be launching planes indoors to really see what the potential of this thing is. But unfortunately, because of global pandemics and stuff like that, no one wanted to let me into their gyms. But luckily, I got over it pretty quickly because realistically, I only made this thing because I have a high-speed camera for another week. Thank you, Kronos, for lending it to me. And I just wanted to shoot paper airplanes at things and capture it in super slow-mo. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go pop some balloons, shoot airplanes at food, and maybe we'll even break some glass. My first victim is this blue balloon, and I'm warning you, I scream like a little girl after this pop. I hate loud noises. So it turns out that the airplane did not pop the balloon. It was probably the tape or something like that. So let's try it again with this dart style plane and see if the increased speed can pop the balloon. No, it did not. I realized that I didn't have the speed cranked all the way up to the highest value. So let's crank it up and try it again. I'm warning you, there is more screaming like a little girl on this one and a very ridiculous facial expression. <laughs> Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I started to do a couple more confetti balloons because who doesn't love vacuuming up confetti? Now moved outside because we are going to try 
how to pop a water balloon. That did not work, so we're gonna try this index card. Hopefully Cron Tech does not see this clip. It's all good though, camera's working great. All right, let's try two balloons now. No problem. What about three balloons? So I tried three balloons a few times. Got my aim all lined up, but I just could not get it to go. The plane kept moving out of the way. On this one, it just hit the red balloon and stopped dead. There was something about that red balloon, it just did not want to pop. But finally, got it. So I couldn't get three balloons to go and I was getting tired of filling up and hanging balloons so I decided to move on to the food stuff. Next up, banana. I actually didn't know what to expect on this one but surprisingly it went through the banana and out the other end just a touch. It's a slimy airplane. Next up, the apple. Oh. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. And this one actually really surprised me because I did not think that we were going to be piercing any apple skin with a paper airplane. Delicious. All right, next up, jello shots. A jiggle. All right, attempt one. Now, attempt two missed, but did cut a really nice piece out of the top and sent Jello flying somewhere I still have not found in my house. Attempt three. I really thought we were going to be having a Jello explosion, but after attempt four, it turns out Jello is actually pretty resilient. Who knew? Now time for the part everyone's been waiting for. Let's see if we can break some glass. Yeah. So I'll be honest, I thought for sure this glass was gonna break on the first try. I was wrong. Also didn't break on the second try or the third try. So I decided to take off the frame, see if we could shake things up. Nothing. Tried a bunch more times. Like a whole bunch. You can see the glass wiggle on this shot. I was getting so frustrated that I was searching for anything in my house that I could shoot through this paper airplane launcher that would break glass. I'm lucky for this ruler who did nothing to nobody. He was selected. Attempt one. Somehow the glass did not break. I hit it dead on too. Tried it again, didn't break again. You can see the ruler flex on this one. I guess I didn't hit this one dead on. For the final attempt here, I decided to secure the bottom of the frame. And that worked. So as it turns out, I had a second pane of glass. So I figured, why not shoot another ruler? This time it went clean through. Sending even more glass flying everywhere. Honestly, still picking up glass to this day. But no regrets at all. This has been an epic project. There's been a little bit of science. There's been a little bit of fun. Lots of great high-speed footage. Thank you, Chrono, so much for the high-speed camera. 
Let me know what you guys think of this video. It's a little bit different from all my other videos. Less on the art side of things and more on the fun with engineering side of things. Still creative because engineering is always creative. And on that note, I got more work to do. So I'll see you in the next video. You're one and only. Mm -hmm.